everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are here with another episode of Joy of Life, which is so exciting. Um, they are in a new house. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of that and then we'll just get, we'll just jump right into the gameplay. Okay, so this is the house. It's a lot bigger than the last one. Um, this is like the main part of the house where everyone lives and I think we're gonna be moving Dylan's bakery over to this little spot since she has more kids now and it requires her to be more at home I just think it would be more beneficial for them so we're just gonna run through the tour real quick run through the house real quick um it's not fully decorated obviously because they just moved in but this is their little entryway. Then we have a little office. I brought all their things from the old house. And here is the bedroom. Ignore all these pictures. I have to organize them at some point. Uh, Dylan and Colin's bedroom is pretty simple right now. But then we just have like an extra room that I have nothing for to put in yet. This is the living room and um, Colin is playing with Ilana. And then we go through here. We'll get to that in a second. So here is the dining room. I need to add a light and stuff. Um, also those different colored chairs. We're just gonna ignore that. And then this is the kitchen. It is super cute. And then we go through here, and this is our first bathroom. There's a lot of bathrooms in this house, which I think is really cool. And then here's the laundry room. There's not much in it. But, um, yeah. And then we go upstairs, and this is where all the kids exist. <laughs> So we're going to go through here first, and this is Adeline's room. And then she has her own little bathroom. And then across from this is Ilana's room, which is really cool. Um, I might turn this into an office or a little playroom later. Um... And then this is another bathroom. So this would be... And then we go through here and this is their like playroom. Um, it will be Ilana's room, I think, once she's older. And then I think these are two bathrooms. Yes, two bathrooms. And then you go in here. And this is the twins, Jack and Finn's room. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm, I need, I want your guys' opinion on if I should just have them share their room until they're older or move them, one of them, into like one of these rooms. Um, so yeah. Just let me know that in the comments. Ideally, it would be they share a room here. Um, Alana, this would be Alana's room. And this would just be an extra office or something. But we could always turn it into one of the boys' rooms very easily. So, just let me know. So, it is New Year's Eve. For some reason, it doesn't show up on the adults. But it is New Year's Eve. And then in two days, our wonderful Colin will be an adult. Also, um, I played a little bit offline, so I'm just going to go through Alana's milestones real quick. Because she's progressed a lot. Um, we found out she... Hates being held. 
And for her gross motor skills, she learned to sit up, learned to creep, and rolled over on tummy. She hasn't learned to reach yet. And we're in the middle of learning how to crawl. And then she's learned to laugh, learned to coo, and first smile. So she's learned how to sit up pretty quickly. Um, but her other stuff she hasn't learned quite just yet. Um, I think I got their skills up a bit. Um, Finn's, Finn's communication skill is high. I kind of want to get, I kind of want to get them maxed out. Him and Jack, I think that would be fun. Jack's kind of running behind, but he does have a de developmental, he has a thinking delay and a global delay, so he is behind for the most part. Um... So yeah, we might work on that for a bit today. But I kind of want to focus on their New Year's Eve stuff. So we're going to do that. I'm definitely going to have um, Dylan work and bake some things. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to sell the store and start working in here. My idea is this is kind of like the back area since it connects to the house and i'm gonna add a bathroom right here and then this can just be i don't know we we'll figure it out once we're there <laughs> so we're gonna do my favorite thing ever um we're gonna have ilana try some food i think we're just gonna go straight down the list so we'll start with smashed yes. avocados Let's see what she thinks. Oh, she seemed to love it. Oh, so we have Jack and Finn playing toys together. That's adorable. Uh, by the way, I don't- his eyes keep changing. They're originally brown and I'll fix that when he ages up. Also, apparently Jack's eyes are changing as well. But I'll fix those when they age up and stuff. I don't know why it's glitching so much. We're also gonna have- I gave, uh- I gave Colin the resolution to raise a skill and I think I'm gonna have her get fit and once Adeline wakes up I'm gonna have her shower She's learned how to reach, which is amazing. I'm gonna have them practice uh, crawling again. Girl, you don't need to set the table. All right, we're gonna have her make her resolution. I think become a better student would definitely be one because she's currently a C student. Um, no, even though she works like really hard, so I think that's 
gonna be something we'll do. So for some reason, um, everyone's eyes are changing. So when it comes to Colin and Finn, a sense of order seems to be abound as the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member after meeting the older Sim's high expectations. Would you say they have a strict Would you say that Colin and Finn have a strict family dynamic? No, I would not. I thought they already had. Yeah, last, um, while I was offline, they got the permissive family dynamic, so. Oh, think well. Also, I don't know why Colin's leg is gone, but we're gonna ignore that. I will fix all their eyes the next episode. Um, they might continuously change until they're like teens. But yeah, so Finn is done potty training, so we're just gonna like work with him for a bit. I also think I'm gonna have Dylan go to uh therapy for a bit because her anxiety has been pretty bad. I'll also have Colin add some, grab some cookies. Girl, do you not finish eating? Okay, we're gonna have Adeline clean up. And then I'm gonna have Dylan go to therapy. So they're not doing much for today. It's just been kind of skill building and stuff. I'm gonna have him practice crawling with her and all that. And love on her. And Jack is mad because he was called a plant sim by Adeline. I don't know why, but Adeline has been like so mean to him. I'm really excited for them to become children, which I think they can become kids soon. They do in a couple of days. So that'll probably be the beginning of the next episode. Um, and Alana will be aging up as well, so that's fun.
I don't know why Colin is just in the couch. What is she doing? She's looking around. She's learned how to crawl. OMG. That's so exciting. She's disappeared into the couch. No, we don't want to go to a grown man's house and hang out. So I think I'm going to have Dylan make some dinner. Mac and cheese fried chicken sounds like the meal for today. <laughs> They're so cute. vampire at our door. How exciting. Hello, Caleb. We are ignoring you. You are getting ignored. Okay, well, it looks like everyone's going to the doctor at 8 p.m. For just a wellness visit. We'll go with Dylan. I wonder if I can interact with Alana. So we're gonna have everyone watch the countdown to midnight. So we're just gonna witness this. It is New Year's. So Adeline woke up feeling awful. So I'm gonna have her go to the doctor real quick. So uh, Adeline's back from the doctor. She's been diagnosed with sinusitis. She can get antibiotics via the online pharmacy. 
or attempt to treat the seeds from home with orange juice, herbal tea. We're going to treat with antibiotics. So we are at the bakery. We are going to sell it. Um, actually, I think I'm going to have a big closing day and just spend the day um, selling all the food that is in here and I'll be back with you guys when that is done. So we sold <clears throat> some items but we had some outgoing costs so yeah um, I think So we're definitely going to have to do this for a couple of days. Um, but hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll have this store sold. Um, after we age up Colin tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and send her home. After we age up Colin tomorrow, um, I think that we're going to just come to the bakery and work all day. And yeah. So it is like two hours before Colin has to go to work. So we are going to go ahead and age him up. Yeah, he's working three hours. We're going to have him make a wish. I don't know why he's going upstairs, but okay, bud. Okay. <laughs> He's aged up. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Awesome. Um, I think... I'll, I'll give him a little bit of a makeover once he's home from work. But for now, we're going to have Mo uh, we're gonna have Dylan go to the bakery and start her day. So we can get this thing sold. So we have sold the bakery, which has given us like 30k... Not including the stuff we sold today. So yeah, I think the end of this episode will be me giving Colin a makeover and decorating our new bakery. So with that being said, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And yeah, bye.